hello and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here you're happy happy welcome and please do consider clicking on that red subscribe button to get yourself subscribed to this channel also turn on your notification so that youtube can always notify you whenever i upload any video on this channel i post contents on natural remedies to so many things benefits of so many natural things and so on so if you're interested in this kind of content too make sure you are subscribed to this channel okay today loves i want to share with us how you can get your vj naturally wet and moist valentine is coming soon okay please this video is definitely for adults definitely for my married men and married women okay i think there is a need for me to say this especially because it's valentine okay there is a need for me to say this this video is definitely for my married women okay if you experience dryness if your vj do experience a sort of dryness you try this recipe you try this thing is going to actually work for you or even if you're within your menopausal age this is actually going to work for you and if you're a married man watching me and your wife experiences dryness you can just send this video to her you can just show her this video share the video with her and she will know what to do in order to naturally get her video wet and moist okay this is like a valentine gift to you <laughs> All right, then without wasting much of your time, let me go into the kitchen and show you what to do. This is going to be inexpensive as usual. It's going to be quick and very effective. Okay. Okay, loves. For this DIY, we'll be needing okra or okra, depending on what you know it as. It's also known as lady fingers for those of us who doesn't know that. I am going to use about five okra seed pots. Mine is already washed and cleaned so make sure you wash yours very very well okay after washing your okra cut off the two ends of the okra seed pods and then you split the pod into two half then we are going to repeat this process until all the okra seed pods have been cut and split okra is low in calories this information will be helpful for those of us who want to shed some weight remember valentine is coming soon <laughs> okra is low in calories and it contains potassium vitamin b vitamin c folic acid and calcium after cutting your okra and splitting the seed pods into two we are going to move over to the next step which is getting a container in this case i'm going to make it of a glass container pour in three cups of clean water into this glass container see here i love glass containers because they are easy to clean and it does not absorb any food or gems due to its non-porous surface so grab a jar pour in three cups of water and then start putting your split across seed pods into the container see anyone that doesn't want to enter just split it more so it can enter okay all right loves now we are going to close up our lid just see as this across it body is looking pretty sitting pretty inside this container <laughs> all right loves now we are done putting it inside the container what we are going to do next is to store this overnight yes i'm going to leave it overnight and tomorrow i'll see you okay loves this is our okra water looking so cloudy so so slimy and I'm sure it's going to be so so gooey. This is a closer between the two. The first one is very clear, while the second one is very cloudy. Okay, so you can see a significant difference between the two. All we have to do now is to pour in the upper water into a glass cup. So we get our glass cup and we get our sieve. Yes, we don't need the okra itself, we need the water just the water so we get our sieve and a glass cup and we sieve in the okra water into the glass cup all we need is just one glass cup of okra water don't be too greedy just one glass cup of okra water and it will be enough all right loves 
the remaining one in the bottle we are going to close it up you can see the remaining one is big so we are going to see take one glass cup at night so if yours is ready let's drink it together one two ready go see eh? Yeah, the taste is actually not bad it is a bit gooey but it's not bad okay you can survive with it <laughs> <laughs> one thing i forgot to mention see if you are if you are allergic to okra please don't do this okay and always consult your doctors before you do anything before you try out anything okay consult your doctor before you try out anything okay Alright loves, so I've come to the end of today's video. If you loved this video as always, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to share my videos with your friends and family members. You cannot even imagine someone out there might be in need of this video. So do share it, okay? Don't be stingy with the information. Alright? See you in my next video. Until next time, remain blessed.